All right, hey everybody, listen. In, in an event, okay, that we are having right now with this coronavirus, you have got to go, if you're not prepped up, you have to go and get prepped up. If, you're, if you are prepped up, go out and get more stuff, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of news clips, and then I'm gonna take you on a journey where I'm in Lowe's, and I'm picking up some, some more things that I know we're gonna need uh, during this crisis. So watch them and I will see you guys, um, see you guys shortly. Thanks for watching, love you, take care. Italy, health officials are especially concerned today about a cluster of infections at a nursing home in Kirkland, that's a suburb of Seattle, and it's where we find Jonathan Bigliotti. Jonathan, good morning. What are you hearing about conditions there in the nursing home? And good morning to you, Tony. First, I just want to point out, you see an ambulance leaving here. They arrived here a short while ago, taking one patient to the hospital for testing. Listen, we've been speaking with family members who have loved ones inside who are in isolation, many of them showing all of the symptoms and yet not being taken to the hospital for testing. State health officials say they simply do not have all of the options available to them right now as their resources are stretched, and they say they have to wait until cases like this one we just saw chart critical. The coronavirus outbreak at a Washington State nursing home is pushing officials to intensify their response to contain the disease. We expect the number of cases will continue to increase in the coming days and weeks. Here in King County, officials are planning to buy a motel and set up modular units to house coronavirus patients requiring isolation. They are most concerned about the elderly, like those at the life care center nursing home. I'm anxious, very anxious. Carmen Gray's mother, Susan Haley, is under quarantine at the facility. You asked for your mother to be tested for coronavirus. What did they tell you? That she did not meet the criteria at this time. They're being held hostage in a petri dish. In San Antonio, Texas, the mayor is declaring a public health emergency after a woman who tested positive for coronavirus was initially cleared and then visited this mall before all of her results came back. As mayor of the city, I find it totally unacceptable that CDC would release a patient prior to receiving all test results and potentially expose the public to this harm. The city also filed a temporary restraining order against the government to keep more than 120 passengers from the Diamond Princess cruise ship quarantined longer than the two weeks required. More than 700 people on board were infected with the virus. Monday, President Trump met with executives of 10 pharmaceutical companies to discuss developing a vaccine, which officials say is at least a year away. We're also moving with maximum speed to develop uh, therapies so that uh, we can help people recover as quickly as possible. And President Trump says he hopes to have up to a million people tested by the end of this week. Anthony. Jonathan, thank you. Many communities are going beyond the government response to make coronavirus preparations in schools, hospitals, and nursing homes. Our lead national correspondent, David Begno, is at Hebrew Home in the Bronx, one of New York's largest elder care facilities. David, what's the mood there? Well, not panic, Anthony. In fact, when I met the CEO yesterday, he essentially said, listen, guys, let's pump the brakes and let's be responsible in how we prepare. Hebrew Home has seven different buildings. This is on 32. Keeping uh, your surfaces clean, so disinfecting at home. Don't share dish, you know, cleanse your towels. Test, though, Tara, if it, if it mimics a cold and flu, how do I know? people know that they should go get the test. Right, so if someone just called me last night and said, I came back from a trip and I have a low grade fever, what should I do? And so you, what you need to do is pick up the phone and call your doctor and call your, or call your local health officials. And, uh, and basically they will triage you based on what you're telling them. And they have guidance from the CDC, which is telling healthcare professionals who should be screened or who should be suspected. And then they will do a swab of your nose and your throat uh, or a sputum sample uh, and send it off. All right, doctor. Thank you very much. We're going to that big day in politics. All right, this is stuff I was telling you guys about. The goo it would get. I've never seen it not work. Getting sticky stuff off. Of course, gloves. Stock up on gloves, guys. Okay. All right, so I am getting the light saw and some more rags. I could buy some cheaper rags, but these are the microfiber with. Um, it's cleaning grade. They don't have a little whatever's on them, the fibers or whatever. The lint, that's what I'm talking about. They're, lint, they're like lint-free rags. 
So I'm just getting a couple of those. And uh, here are those trash cans I was telling you guys about. All right, so here's one. Here's a 44 gallon. All right, those are 44.98. Here's a 32 gallon for 32 dollars, and here's a little small 20 gallon. Okay, for 24 bucks. I think the one I bought. I think I bought these little. No, mine was 40 gallons. Maybe it was 32. Maybe with these. Okay, but whatever you get, it's gonna be better than not having. All right, you can even get this little 32 gallon right here for 17.97 to store water in. So, you know, make sure you get your lid because if you keep it outside, you want to keep all the pest and bird crap out of it and all that kind of stuff as much as possible. So, um, I may grab me another one or two. It's not a bad price, 17 bucks for a 32 gallon. Shoot, and it's pretty heavy duty. Yeah, it's kind of heavy duty, y'all. That one's already had water in it. That's nasty. <laughs> But you all, you know, of course, when you get them home, you want to clean them up anyway. Um, but I'll probably get me a upgrade. I kind of like this lid. Can't get it off. So, yeah, I definitely like that lid. 50% easier. Okay, so. Get something like this. That's 44 more gallons. Uh, of course, you know, money is always an object and an issue with everybody when they're prepping okay when you're doing anything so I think it will, I'm thinking I'm gonna revisit these tubs because I have some but they do have lights all today all right keep watching all right so here's another way that you can put put things in and store and store water um, 348 for a five gallon so what's that Five goes into 36, so I mean, you can get six, then you get the six of those and get 30 gallons for what under $20 might be your best bet right there, okay? And um, they can stack those on top of each other and they would be good to go as long as you had lids. I don't see any lids, but you know, buckets, 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 buckets. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna get me, get me one today. Got a ton of these things at the house, but. It's always good to carry your crap in. <laughs> okay. And of course, I haven't bought what I came in here for. All right, guys. So let me show you what I walk, walked out of Lowe's with. Uh, another big old thing of paper towels. Uh, of course, some Lysol disinfectant wipes. Another four pack of one pound containers. Propane. Uh some cleaning towels some lysol two buckets okay and let's see here this is the most this is the biggest find i have all right got rubber boots or safety work boots and rain gear okay so that's if it gets any worse and i have to protect myself via suiting up you can put this on, put your gloves on, duct tape, you know, all crevices, duct tape around here in the in the bottom, duct tape your um, boot, your, your pants over your boots, put your goggles on, face shield on, cover up, gloves on, everything is duct tape up, and uh, and then you come in, you set up with your tarps, a de decontamination station, all right? Far-fetched, but hey, you never know. <laughs> 